Suppose my question is 40 is a number. In 40, how many tens are there? Or in 40, how many ones are there? So let's take one bundle of ten, two bundle of tens, three bundle of ten, and four bundle of tens. So one ten, two tens, three tens, and four tens. So inside one bundle, I am having ten straws. So this is one ten. Similarly, this is one ten, this is one ten, this is one ten. So total I am having how many tens? One ten, two tens, three tens and four tens. So four tens means forty. So inside forty, how many tens are there? Yes, inside 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 4. Tens are there inside 40. So, here you are going to write down the answer 4. Thus, these things simply we can check it from the header. What header is written here from that, that is after that header, we should put a slash. And inside the slash, what number is there? That is only the answer. Okay. Now, come to the next problem. That in 40, how many ones are there? So, this time we are just going to rub this one. And let us check. Inside 40, how many ones are there? In first tens bundle, I have opened it and there are 10 ones are there. And in second one, I have opened one more tens are here. In third one, one ten bundle, that is Ten straws are here. And in fourth case also, ten straws are here. So, total ten plus ten plus ten plus ten. That is ten plus ten plus ten plus ten. Total how many? Forty. Total 40 straws I am having. That is 40 ones I am having. So inside that 40, how many ones are there? 40 ones are there. So we should write it down here. 40. Now we can easily, without that activity, we can easily write it down that what header is asked here. After that, we should put one slash. And what number is inside the slash? That is only the answer. Okay.